Hey guys, this is Staff Sergeant Zero here with a remake of my Enemy Convoy tutorial that I recently made. In this in this version, I'm just going to be covering a little bit more stuff that I had forgotten or I received suggestions from. So, it's the exact same thing. We're going to apply to Coyotes. But this time, we're going to be adding a tank instead. Now, the thing with the tank is it's going to be, obviously, a lot slower than the two coyotes. So, I'm going to show you how to counteract that. So, we're going to do the same thing before. Left click, left control, drag over. Do it again and we get up to here so a way to counter one of the ways to counteract that is to put it to limited so even though it's going to still the front vehicle is still going to be a little bit faster than our tank it will still balance it out somewhat so i'm just going to do column and then another way to counteract your vehicles fleeing if they take contact or you just want them to drive through and get shot at, you go over to modules, you go down to ACE, correction, go down to AI behavior, go down to, where is it again, change abilities. Place that on the front vehicle, everything can be yes. But down here where it says allow fleeing, you want that to no. That to be completely off. So now when your enemy convoy is taking contact or your friendly convoy is taking contact, they will not flee and they'll stay on your designated route. We're going to move over here and we'll start giving him a line to go on. Solid copy. Charlie, copy. On the way. Get rid of this one. So now, as Roger. I'm making it, copy that. Say I want to give a little bit of a separation, or want them to stop here. I can double left click, wait until 12:30, and then let's say I want them to go to file still limited actually no let's let them pick up speed aware and hold fire so once the lead vehicle reaches this waypoint it'll stop and then once i create another waypoint it will then sort itself out to where i have it set as they'll go to column they'll be aware they won't fire and then they'll pick up their speed so now when I click on this, click, left click on it, left control to add, then right click on your mouse. Copy that. On the way. They'll now begin to move. So let's pick up the space to get them to move again. That would be why. Oh yes, the, see? Even though I told them to speed up, they're going to wait until that is 1230. So you can either have the time clock move consistently or you can just switch it off to no wait. And then they'll continue moving again. Now the thing with blind corners like this is if I don't want them going up there place a waypoint right at the intersection and then immediately right after go down your desired route because sometimes if you place it a little ahead they'll then continue to go in that direction of what you don't want them to do and then I'll just stop them I'll just stop them right here so as you see, after I made the change over there to my waypoint, and now they've got into here, they're now set to column, and 
they were moving at a faster pace, they were more spread out, they were aware, and they were going to be holding the fire if they had taken contact. Alright, so now we're going to move over to our next thing I would like to cover. So the next thing I would like to cover is change in elevation. So a change in elevation can mess up your units a little bit. So the way to counteract that is to just make your waypoints a little bit closer together. So what we're going to do here is get these guys to go here. Wilco, solid copy. Wilco, on the way. On the way. Wilco. If you look here and you see the waypoints, how close I put them, especially when there's a dip and then when it goes when it goes up the hill again, the easiest way to counteract elevation change is having them closer together so they stay on your desired route. So let's just increase their speed a little bit. And another thing is if you want them to change their change the way they're moving, so once they hit here. I want them to be in a file and to speed up immediately. I don't know why this guy's going slow. Alright, so you see exactly when he... Now he's starting to speed up. So you can have them change their formation, their speed, their... Awareness to either be in a combat state, aware, safe, have them go in silently. You can do that all, all in the waypoint by clicking on your left one. So another thing... I'm going to cover which is most likely be the last thing is bridges so I was told from one of my fellow fellow Zeusers here on NAC that if you were to place a waypoint they would go under the bridge so a good way to counteract counteract that is to Wilco. make sure the waypoint is going above the bridge. Solid copy. So if you look down below, you see the waypoints down below. So if we move up, grab the waypoint, pull it up. Now it's on the bridge. See how he wants to go down? We're just going to lift it up a little bit more. And now it's above the bridge. See how it causes issues where he wants to go below the bridge? But see how I just raised the waypoint high enough? You want to raise it high enough to give the unit to let the unit know that you want him to go above the bridge, not below it. I don't know why this unit's doing that, it's getting really buggy. So as you can see firsthand, the bridge is causing a lot of problems for the unit, so if possible when you're making your missions, try to avoid them, but if you have to and it's just getting too buggy and it's kind of delaying your mission, you can easily just grab the whole convoy, reset them across, and let them continue on their way with their waypoints. So that comes to the end of my video. This was the more in, more in detail one that had a little bit more information for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys have any more suggestions on that you want to see in video because you don't really understand it then by all means post them down in the
comment section and I will do my best to make a video on it and help you guys out with any problems that you haven't. So this is Staff Sergeant Geo Zero signing off and have a great day.